Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a clean with me beauty room makeup collection edition. So I am currently in my beauty room where I film, where I get ready for the day. Also kind of like my drop zone area. So I need to clean the disaster that is this room. I'll give you a good overview of it. But I really need to clean this. I need to wash my makeup brushes. Just get this room back in order. Jackson's taking a nap. I don't know if I'll be able to complete this today. But I'm definitely going to try. And I figured I'll share with you guys. Because I am dipping my feet and getting more home lifestyle videos here on my channel. Cleaning videos. And my vanity needs it. Yikes. So... Come along and clean with me and we are going to get everything situated. I am definitely going to do a good clean of this stuff. And then hopefully in a video shortly I can do like a makeup collection and show you guys everything that I have, how I store it. But for now I'm just going to try put everything away, clean it up, and let's just get started. So right now I am just tidying up the room like I said. There is so much stuff in this room. I use it as my like drying rack to dry my clothes that can't go in the dryer. Use this as my drop zone, things I don't want Jackson around. So I could just shut this room off and not worry about it. But I seriously am getting it done in this video and this day. This drying rack is pretty awesome. It's foldable so you can see me folding it back down. It is a little bit of a struggle but it is very easy to just store in a closet, get it out when you need. And anything that I can find that I can link for you guys, I will definitely leave it down below. I'll also leave my Amazon store link if you guys are interested in home cleaning, beauty products that I'm interested in. I have done and put everything together in that Amazon store link. So that is down below if you guys are interested. And a lot of this furniture came from Wayfair and all the gray furniture, like the princess looking furniture, I picked up from Rooms to Go a couple of years ago, but I did see they still have it. The bed is from the kids collection or like their teen collection. And then the vanity is, but then we got for my mirror, the adult mirror. You'll see that shortly. I don't know if y'all have like a day bed like this, but it's so hard to put the sheets on and off and the comforter on and off. Kind of takes a little bit more work to kind of get it in and tuck it in in all the right places, but it turns out good. So like I said, it's my drop zone. So we came back from vacation and I just kind of empty all the suitcases, threw it in the front of the room, threw it with Jackson's basket of toys, a random box that I got from Target to just store things, and I just need to clean all that out. So here I am finally working on the vanity top, and this is where a lot of drop zone happens again. It is where I like film my videos, so I have all the random products that I've been using, my makeup for the day. I don't always put it away, I'm hoping to, but it just kind of clutters up. So I'm just trying to, for initially, just put it away in the proper drawers, and then later you'll see me get really detailed and organized within the drawers themselves. And this was the vanity I was talking about. The bottom part is from the kids collection, but the big mirror is from the adult vanity. It was an add-on for the dresser and we just kind of combined it and we added a little piece to help connect it. But I liked it so much better with a bigger mirror versus the little mirror that the kids came in. 
and this is my nail polish rack. I'm actually starting to store some of my eyeshadow palettes just to make it a little bit more functional and useful and pretty for me because I do not want to fill all that up with nail polish. The nice thing about this vanity too is it had USB connection ports in the vanity itself. So you just plug in the vanity and there's two USB connections. So I use it to charge my phone, charge any device that I'm using. So now is my super big makeup brush cleaning. What I use is the Johnson's Baby Shampoo. I get a small little bowl and fill up some water with it too. I have tried the Sigma brush matte i've tried the sigma brush glove the two-sided ones but honestly i found what works best is just using my bare hands i like to just work the product into the bristles make sure when you are washing your makeup brushes you point them down don't get any water inside of that metal part because it can loosen up the bristles but i just work the soap johnson's baby soap into the brush itself and then rinse it out and then you can see on the where I am putting the brushes I roll up a like just a normal kitchen towel and you point those brushes down to dry and you also make sure when you are washing your brushes that you are reshaping those brushes so if you're moving them all around and cleaning them like I am just make sure that the you kind of form it back to the original shape when you are rinsing and drying it out Let me know in the comments down below, how often do you wash your makeup brushes? For me, I try and do it maybe every other week. I know we need to do them more often, but that's kind of why I have more makeup brushes than I think the typical person probably should have. Um, definitely, you can have more brushes, less brushes, but I have some multiples of my makeup brushes so I don't have to wash them as frequently. It's just kind of a pain to wash them honestly but it's definitely one of those things that we neglect but it needs to be done. So let me know how often do you wash your makeup brushes?
finally done with washing the makeup brushes, but one thing that I often forget is to clean the actual handles of the makeup brushes. So here you're seeing me use my Mrs. Myers all-purpose cleaner. I'm using the apple cider scent right now for the fall time. And yeah, I'm just using a multi-surface kind of all-purpose cloth too and just wiping down the handles just to make sure everything is clean. So back in the room, I'm using that same Mrs. Meyer all-purpose cleaner and just wiping down all of the surfaces in my beauty room again, or guest room. I am clearing off the top of my lingerie chest and just wiping everything down. I get random makeup spots on this, I get Baby Jackson handprints, all that kind of stuff. So just making sure all my surfaces are clean. I'm also going through the random box from Target and Put, picking up all the random trash, the new shoes I got him, and just putting everything up. Now's the time a lot of y'all are probably interested. We're getting into the actual drawers of my makeup fantasy. This drawer in particular is where I store my face products like my foundation, my moisturizers, my primers, lip products, and I think that's about it. Oh, and fragrances. So I'm trying to just kind of take everything out, organize it, and then I wipe it down, which I didn't get footage of that, and I put everything back in. If y'all are interested in a more in-depth collection video, leave it down in the comments down below and I will definitely go through, share with you guys the specific products that I have in these drawers and give you a little bit more detail on the products themselves. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later I have started thinking it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you Oh, I got you, there's no reason Next drawer is probably my favorite drawer. This is my eye product drawer. So I have a lot of bigger eyeshadow palettes. I have eyeliners. I have my Stila glitters. I have all of that fun stuff. Mascara, like I said, eyeliners. So I'm trying to just kind of sort this out, put everything so I can relatively see it and just keep it better organized. Here is where I'm working on my Z palette. I have panned so many eyeshadow palettes in the past. If you're interested, I have a couple playlists of the different eyeshadow palettes I have used up and some of them I didn't use up completely. So I have the random eyeshadows I keep in the Z palette and then did just purchase some Anastasia Beverly Hills single eyeshadows. So I'm just making room and a place for them in their new Z palette home. Free and right. 
running And this day has never kept us bothering Every day we dance and life's been smiling We're not young, still drunk in love So this last drawer is more of my face products. I did say that for the last one, but this is my bronzers, blushes, and highlight drawer. How I'm organizing this drawer is I have all my big palettes kind of in the back. Then I have a row of powders, a row of highlights, and a row of blushes. With the powders, I have my bronzers in there. I don't have too many different bronzers. I have some in a palette, but I don't keep a bunch of singles laying around. So here is the full room totally cleaned, wiped down, and organized. I'm so excited that I finally had time to really clean this room and get it back in shape. everything for the clean with me. I am definitely going to vacuum once Jackson wakes up in here. There's a couple of little dust pieces and makeup and stuff that is on the ground. So I am going to vacuum when he wakes up, but that is it for my clean with me makeup organization. Really excited to finally have this room cleaned up. I need to work on the closet, but that's a whole nother tackle in itself and I'm really glad to have my makeup brushes clean so thank you guys so much for watching if you like these clean with me's give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below and I'll talk to you guys in my next one bye